I'm going to be showing you guys how I get up to 400 FPS in Fortnite on my laptop. Before we get started, I'm going to show you how to make a restore point. All right, so to make a restore point, you just want to click the Windows button and search create a restore point. And then it brings you to this screen and you click on your drive, and click create, and then you can name it anything you want. And then it will create your restore point. In case anything goes wrong, you can system restore to go back to normal. Now let's get into the optimizations. So first up, we're just going to be changing some window settings for the best performance. So the first setting I'm going to change is the power plan. So to get to the power plan, just type in power plan and click on this and it'll bring you to all your power plans. I only have two, but for this, you should either use the ultimate performance or high performance. And I'm pretty sure if you don't have one, you can just click create a power plan and then click high performance. All right, so next up, we're gonna disable notifications and they're just kind of useless. So you just disable notifications here. All right, and now we're gonna disable some startup apps. So as you can see, you got all these apps right here. Just turn off anything that you don't need. Uh, so I do have a few and this will basically stop them from opening when you turn on your computer, which is super good. All right, and now we're gonna turn off Xbox game bar. This is basically for like, if you wanna clip stuff, but it does use a lot of performance, so just make sure to turn it off. And then in the gaming tab, you just want to turn on game mode. For some people, this doesn't work, but for me, I think this does actually make a difference. All right, and then you want to go into the graphic settings and then click browse right here. And you're just going to look for Fortnite. So for me, it's already here, but uh, to get there, you actually go to your PC and then you go to program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, win 64 and then it's this one right here the first one and then once it's here just click on options and click high performance so those are basically all the window settings now we're going to go into nvidia control panel keep in mind this is only if you have a pc or a laptop with an nvidia graphics card all right so to go to nvidia control panel just right click on the desktop and click show more options and click nvidia control panel the only thing we're going to change is right here and click use my preference emphasizing performance so just slide this thing to the left and then once you're done just click apply and then close out all right so now i'm going to be showing you guys my fps boost pack and to download this join my discord server in the description and the download link will be in the download channel all right so once you open up the optimization pack you first want to click on other tweaks i know it does say to open this first but i already told you guys about the restore point so click on other tweaks so the first four just select them all right click and run as administrator this is going to take like maybe two minutes but it'll basically clean out all the unnecessary files on your computer and then while that's happening you just want to click on all these twice and click yes and that's basically it for these go back and click ram tweaks you want to see how much ram you have in task manager and you want to click how much you have so for me i'll do 32 and yeah, that's basically the pack. All right, so we're pretty close to being done. So next up, open up the Epic Games Launcher. So once you're in Epic Games Launcher, just click on Library and just find Fortnite in your games list. So for me, it's on like the last page. And then click the three dots and click Options. So right here, you wanna make sure that Save the World is off unless you actually play this. Keep this on if you actually play it. And make sure high resolution textures and direct X12 shaders are unticked. And then make sure disable cosmetic streaming is ticked and yeah then click apply and also because we're here just click manage and verify your game files this is basically going to check if anything is wrong with your game and fix it after that you can open up fortnite all right so in fortnite you want to make sure first off that you're on performance mode for some people direct x12 does work better make sure you're on full screen mode and the resolution is honestly up to you but i use 1920 by 1080 because that's my monitor and then make sure v-sync is off and then for the brightness and the color blind this doesn't really matter and then make sure all this is on low and 3d 3d resolution is on 100 unless you're getting a lot of fps drops you should just have it at 100 that's basically the best settings in my opinion so the last thing is something specific to MSI laptops. If you're on an MSI laptop, open this app called MSI Dragon Center, or maybe called MSI Center for some people. Here, we're gonna change some options. All right, so once you're in, just go to gaming mode and make sure gaming mode is on, and then go to user scenario, and make sure this is on extreme performance. And also make sure you have your laptop plugged in if you are on a laptop. Then go to general settings. You don't really need to change anything here. And then, yeah, that's basically all you need to change. Something optional is going into tools clicking like either best for mobility balanced 
This is basically going to make your battery last longer if you have it plugged in all the time. But yeah, that's basically it for Dragon Center. So I hope you guys saw an increase in FPS. If you've already optimized your computer before, you may not see much of a difference. But I hope this video helped you. And if you have any questions, let me know on my Discord server.